Hey everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this very interesting text animation inside of After Effects without using a single keyframe. We will be using a very simple expression to achieve the complete look and we will also see how we can save this animation as a text preset so we can utilize it for our future project. So there is a lot of things coming up today. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'll call this render as our main render comp. For width, I'm gonna go with 2K, that is 2560 by 1440. You can go with 4K or Full HD if you want to. Frame rate is set to 60 FPS. Duration is set to 10 seconds and press OK. Let's select the text tool and then you can type in anything that you want. I'm gonna type in creative. For the font, I'm using Helvetica Now Display, one of my favorite fonts. And now we can start with our animation. So I'll go into the text properties and I'll click on animate and let's add a position. Now we don't need the range selector. So I'm going to delete that and instead I'll go to add property and instead of property, let's actually go into selector. And then I'm going to go into add and then I'm going to go to add selector and add an expression let's go right here in the amount and here i have a very simple expression you can find the link to download this notepad in the description below so i'll copy this expression and select this and press ctrl v so now we have the expression and you don't need to worry about the complete expression all you need to do is focus on these three parameters that is frequency decay and duration now before we start playing around with the properties let's go ahead and add some more properties now before we go ahead and start playing around with the numbers let's add some more properties so i'll go into add property add a scale and going to add property let's add a skew and finally i will add a rotation now because we have added an expression all we have to do is just make changes to the values of these properties so let's say if i increase my position to 70 you can already see the animation happening we don't need to use any keyframe so I can just go right here, press N, keep the animation on loop and make changes to this. So if I increase this, there you go. You can go really crazy while it's animating. So I'll set this to 70, set the scale to zero. So now we have something like this. Now also I want to add some skew. So I'll set that to 30 skew axis. Let's go to 60. And for the rotation, we can go to 65. Now, make sure you play around with all these properties because I'm going with the values that I think looks good on the text animation. So you can play around with the skew. So let's say if I want, I can increase this all the way up and you may get a different animation or bring that down. So you'll get a different animation. But I think 60 works fine. You can also play around with the rotation. So if I rotate this, you get a much more interesting look. But I think this is nice and subtle. Now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, you know how managing projects usually means juggling five different tools, one for task, one for chat, one for deadlines. Well, Odoo project fixes that. Odoo is an all-in-one business management software that covers all you need. You can view your workflow in Kanban view for quick drag and drop tasks or switch to Gantt view to see your full project timeline. It even lets you automate things like adding team members and sending updates automatically. And if you are a freelancer or studio owner, you can track billing hours through timesheets, manage deadlines and communication through chatter and even schedule activities like calls and to-dos. The best part? Odoo gives you your first app free for life with unlimited hosting and support. It's honestly everything you need to manage your creative project in one place. Now with that said, let's get back to the video. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate the animator. So press Ctrl D to duplicate it and then go into animator to expression amount and let's change the frequency dk and the duration so i'll set the frequency to one and again you can try with playing around with different values bring down the dk to eight and let's increase the duration to 0.25 so now when i preview this we have a really interesting look also let's make some changes to the position so i'll first of all set this one to minus 25 and this one to minus 30 should be fine let's set the skew to minus 30 we don't need a scale property for this animator so i'm going to delete that set the skew axis to zero and let's give it a rotation of 40. 
so now we have something like this now i will also add two more properties to this so make sure you are going into the add property of the animated to click right here go into property and first let's add a tracking and then let's add a property of blur i think first of all unlink this and set the blur amount to 20 so we have a little bit of blur when it's animating also make sure you turn on our very favorite motion blur so that will make things look a bit more natural and organic uh let's bring down the tracking amount to 120 oh mine is 120 sorry so there we go we have this really nice text animation now you may see your animation differently and that could be the reason that your paragraph alignment would not be center aligned so make sure you change that so just select the text go into paragraph tab you can go into windows and there you'll find the paragraph tab just turn that on and make sure your text is selected and it's set to center text by default it should be on left align just switch back to center text and now we have this really nice animation the best part is without any keyframes so now let's go ahead and create an out animation so what we can do is go to around let's say one second and 30 frames and i'll create a new um, position property let's call the animator 3 out so this is going to be our out animation basically so in this i'll add a property of um let's add a blur and also a property of opacity so i'll bring the position somewhere around here let's say 100 blur amount to something like 50 and opacity to zero then i'll go into the range selector and then we can animate the offset so i'll set this to minus 100 create a keyframe go to two second and 30 frames set this to plus 100 go into advanced properties and change the shape from square to ramp up and now we should have something like this which is working in a positive direction that we wanted so i think we have measured up so i'll go up to 100 and then go right here and set this to minus 100 so we have our out animation okay that is looking nice i think that is way too slow so i'll bring that closer yep that looks much better so now we have our in animation and then we have our out animation if you don't like the out animation you can any time change the properties so let's say if i don't like the way it moves in the position i can set this to zero and then bring this down to let's say 100 and now we have a different position animation before i leave you guys let me show you one more thing that can be super helpful for you is how to save this particular animation as a custom preset so you don't have to go through this complete process again and again so to save it as a custom preset all you have to do is make sure you select all the animators or you can just select the text if you want to so to save it as a custom preset all you have to do is select the animators so we created three different animators go into animation and click on save animation preset you can name it whatever that you want make sure location of saving the preset is same similar to the one that you're seeing on my screen version of after effects can be different depending on what version that you're using but everything else should be similar and then you can save it anything let's type in uh, custom text and click on save now we can actually delete this or maybe let's let's just hide this and type in a new text so i'll call this design and align this into a center and if i want to add that same particular animation that we created we can go right here in the animation preset go into user preset and there we have our custom text preset so all you have to do is drag and drop it make sure you press u so you can see the keyframe these are the keyframes that we added for our out animation so make sure you drag them and there you go there we have our preset loaded super easy and super effective now the best part about this particular animation is the, you can do number of cool things so let me show you an example you can add some nice rgb splits so i'll select this press ctrl shift c to pre-compose it i'll call this text or title move all attributes go into effects and presets search for an effect called shift channels double click to apply that and let's change the blending mode of this to screen set the green turn off the green and the blue channels duplicate this turn off the red channel and turn on the green channel duplicate this 
turn off the green channel and turn on the blue channel and then just move them one frame forward so now we have a really interesting look pretty cool right and looks very nice you can you know have fun with this also to add some little more depth to this particular text i can add a gradient ramp effect so i'll go into effects and presets search for gradient ramp bring them closer like this and let's swap the colors just so we have a little more depth like so if we go back we have a really nice and clean looking title animations you can use this as captions for your instagram reels or some basic titles for your videos you can use this effect in number of different ways so if you enjoyed this animation be sure to subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you think about this particular style and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out